Hi, I'm Mark Mezadorian. What is the purpose of pain? In Western culture, we have a foundation of belief around expecting pain, accepting pain, tolerating pain, and thinking perhaps that we even deserve pain. So there is a status quo around that, of when there's pain around that perhaps we're seeking relief from the pain rather than releasing the pain entirely. And perhaps from a spiritual perspective, what we can notice is that pain is feedback. That whenever something happens, let's say you stub your toe against something, which I did before I made this video, and there's an opportunity beyond that for mindfulness, of just be very present in the moment. That when there's emotional pain, there's a, there's a space of grace available to you. When there's mental pain or anxiousness or stress, something else is available to us. That the world can get larger when we get feedback from pain. There's a step, being, there's action being asked of us. So what can we actually do to change this? One thing we could definitely do is to call in the angels, especially perhaps Archangel Raphael is the angel of healing, and ask him to help us with that. So let's do that now. Let's, let's, well, let's simply tune into your body and allow your body to give you feedback of like, what is, where is there actually any pain in your body? So let's just take in a breath. So we're going to bring stuff up and then clear it. So let's take in a breath. And let's very simply invite our bodies to let, us know, to let us know what is happening. Good. So let's notice my body's telling me so there's some tension in the jaw, there's something with the right knee, there's something with left lower back. Just notice what's coming up for you. And let's simply just gather information here rather than think, oh my God, something's wrong. Let's just be present and have this conversation with your body. So we're gathering information. So we're in this space of noticing what is happening. So let's just breathe that in. Let's very simply just acknowledge there's pain in my body. And we'll say that with the acknowledgement that we're going to clear it. So let's breathe that in. And let's call in Archangel Raphael. Let's just simply say out loud, thank you, Raphael, for being with me. Wonderful. Let's take in a breath. So we've noticed the pain. We've acknowledged the pain. Now let's surrender the pain. Let's say out loud, Archangel Raphael, I surrender all pain to you. Fantastic. Let's take in a breath and let Raphael work. Letting him come in and bring instant relief to you. Wonderful. Fantastic. And let's very simply notice what you can do physically. So if your knee is hurting, what you could do to simply just rub it and put forward positive attention for it. Let's notice us interrupting any way, shape, or form that we're angry with our bodies. And to truly be on our own side, to take excellent care of ourselves. That's a wonderful action step that we can take. Wonderful. So we've surrendered Archangel Raphael. Let's just tune in again to your body. Let's ask our bodies, what action could we take to bring more peace to you, the body? Let's just breathe in. What action can we take to bring peace to our bodies? Wonderful. So my body's providing me with feedback around the jaw to really to recognize that I could release worry. I don't need to hold things, keep balls in the air of thinking about things, that I could just let things be. Let the universe work on my behalf through my intentions. So that's feedback. Let's just notice what's here for you. How is your body giving you feedback? And that information might be to relax, to stretch, to move, to walk, to meditate, to release a certain food or drink that you're taking in. Just recognize what is here. Wonderful. And with that, let's simply just thank your body. Thank you. Let's notice a, step, a second step in all of this, which is the personalization of our pain, where we make pain our identity. So let's notice like a ball of energy right near you, like a cartoon ball, like a, like a bubble of like someone's thoughts in a cartoon and, and such. And let's simply just recognize that that ball could be full of your pain. So for me, it's Mark's pain. 
So let's allow any pain in your body to fill up that bubble, to go outside of you into that bubble. Let's allow any emotional pain to go into that bubble, allowing any mental pain to go into that bubble, and to allow any either saying existential pain, worry about the world, worrying about what's going to happen, letting existential pain go into the bubble, and letting any energetic pain go into the bubble. So just take in a breath, and let's very simply let that bubble pop and letting all that energy dissipate into the world of unconditional love that surrounds you. So Archangel Raphael, your other guides are facilitating a space of peace, harmony, and joy that surrounds you right now. So in basically what we're doing in releasing this pain is we are releasing attachment. We're releasing the idea that, okay, this pain makes me who I am. And we could release some cultural ideas that come forward by, I'm holding on this pain to remember the suffering of the suffering that I've had or my ancestors and relatives have had. Let's let that go. We could recognize the fundamental truth that we honor ourselves and we honor our ancestors and our cultures by thriving. That we could release any idea of victimization and recognize there's always a step beyond that. Once again, that things are feedback and that we're basically making a choice to not get stuck into energies that we are familiar with or used to, that there's always something else available to us. So let's take in a breath. Let's feel yourself right now surrounded by unconditional love. And to feel Archangel Raphael's presence with you right now. Let's just breathe in and recognize what is available to you. Let's feel this in your body. What is available to your body? What information is present right now for your body? What action would your body like you to take? Just breathe in. What guidance is here for you from Raphael around pain? And more importantly, about around releasing pain. Just breathe that in, and that guidance must, might be very slight, very subtle, or it might be very loud. Just breathe in, just notice what's true for you. This might be, hey, why don't you stretch today? Hey, how about taking a walk? Hey, listen to some music. You know, hey, make this phone call. Hey, it's going to be okay. That's all guidance. Raphael's also mentioning um, him bringing people warmth, a sense of physical sensation, be that a tingling, an activation, or a sense of feeling pressure on your body somewhere. That's him, he's saying. So let's recognize the relationship that is present, that we are used to kind of being in a bubble of like being in our own drama, and that when we interrupt that and get into a space of connecting, especially with divine beings, that the world just gets bigger and that these divine beings are here to help us out. So if we look at what's happening on the planet here, that we're in a period where we really are getting into oneness, which is the release of separation. And part of thing that roots us in separation, which is us and them, is pain. And that as we release pain for ourselves and release being attached to pain, that something else, something much larger and grander becomes available to us. And so that's a space where we can personally change as we choose to drop out of the things that aren't serving us anymore. And to recognize that something that we're used to, like pain, that there's something else with that, there's something a step beyond that, that it truly is providing us with feedback. So there it is. I appreciate you sharing this time and space, and thank you so much for watching.